Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've been thinking, we as bedroom and small studio producers often find ourselves in less than ideal conditions when it comes to our studio space. And I'm primarily referring to size, space, and sound treatment, or a lack thereof. Take for example, my studio space. It's a quarantined off corner of my basement of the duplex we own. Behind all these curtains are just straight up cinder blocks. I have exposed rafters, low hanging ductwork, and not enough space. The air ducts also will often resonate with certain frequencies depending on what I'm listening to through my monitors. So my space is not ideal, but a lot of you guys know, I am a proponent of making the best with what you have. So I make do and I mix a lot in headphones, like a super lot. And I know a lot of you guys do too. Luckily gang, we live in a time where there are tools available to us that can help alleviate some of these issues. We're gonna talk about one of them today, and it's a plugin that I use a lot. If you're into guitars, metal riffage, mixing, and everything in between, hit subscribe and follow along. Isn't it cute how us YouTubers act like you guys don't already know what the video's going to be about since you saw the thumbnail and read the title? We're talking about Reference by Sonarworks, if you haven't figured it out already. Now what Reference is, is it's a calibration software. So it takes the guesswork out of whether or not the headphones you're using are flat or not, because every pair of headphones, whether or not they say that they are flat response, studio quality, they have somewhat of a curve. So what Sonarworks has done is it's created calibration profiles for over 300 headphones. Right now they're offering a 21 day trial period for you to test this out. So you may as well go ahead after the video and check it out and see what it does for you. You download the software, you install the software. It'll install a plugin that you can use inside of your DAW. It also installs a program called Sonarworks Reference 4 system wide. So you can listen to your headphones with the profile while you're listening to Spotify, YouTube, everything. If you want it so everything you're listening to is through a pair of headphones with as flat a response as possible, this is how you do it with Sonarworks. So this is the software for system wide. So right now I have two profiles set up in the software. One for this set of headphones, the Bear Dynamics DT990 Pros, the 250 ohm, they went that specific, and a set of Audio-Technica ATH M30Xs, these bad boys. Each of these has a different curve. Now let me turn off some of this stuff. So if we do just before, after, and calibration, all right? So the before is this blue line. If I hover over before, it just shows this blue line. This is the frequency response of these Bear Dynamics DT990s. And you can see there's a huge bump in the high end, a little bit of a bump in the mid to low end, a little bit of a, it's scooped out a little bit around 1K. Not a ton, but it's there and it makes a difference. So with the calibration, it basically counteracts that. It's applying an EQ curve to counteract the coloring and the coloration that these headphones are doing and thusly affecting how you hear your mix. And you can see the Audio Technicas is vastly different. If we look at the before, I mean, this is all over the place. So these are the 990s and you can listen to it in zero latency, mixed, which is low latency with minimal phase shift and pre-ringing, and linear phase. Linear phase will get rid of any sort of phasing issues that you have because you know, you're doing these massive EQ um, moves in some, in some instances, but it does apply latency. And if that's not an issue for you, then, and your computer can handle it, may as well, I run it in linear phase when I'm just listening to stuff outside of my DAW. So when you're in your DAW, what you want to do is put it on your mix bus, the last thing on your mix bus. So I have my Pro L2 for my leveling, and then I put reference. And you can see I have the, this is the plugin. I have the calibration for my Bear Dynamics. This is what I primarily mix in. And you can see that it is calibrating it. And you can turn it on and off. And I'll run through the track and I'll turn it off and you will be able to hear a difference. Now it's gonna sound wonky because it's correcting right now for my headphones. So whatever you're listening on, it might sound weird. But if I have this off, 
then basically we're hearing everything pretty much neutral. But I want to hear it corrected so that I'm making the right moves in my mix. And again, you can apply different, I can add headphones. If you want to add a set of headphones, then you open up system wide. You go to presets and you add a preset. And you go to calibration profile and then you add headphones. And you go searching for your headphones. Now I'm trying to think, another pair of headphones I have are Sony MDR7506s. So I'll add that. Add the preset. And you can see on the profile that Sonarworks did on a, a pair of Sony MDR7506s, this is the coloration that it's doing. And then they add the calibration and you know, you can see the purple, you might not be able to see it on there, but it's not perfectly flat. And now it says simulated because, I mean, how can you tell what the EQ curve is afterward without running it through another EQ? It's all sorts of mumbo jumbo that I don't want to do, but this is saying that it's showing that it's not perfect with this set of headphones, but it's close. It's closer than all of this coloration that it's doing. So this is my main one. We'll close it in here. If you go in, and then if you go into here, and you go open profile, it'll have the three profiles for the three different sets of headphones that I have and often use time to time. And you can load another one up there. And they have all sorts of headphones. I mean, they have Beats in there. A lot of people have Beats. They're a very popular consumer brand of headphones. You know, uh, everybody knows that they're hyped in the low end. They're just fun to listen to, to different types of music, to different genres on. It's just, you know, a good time when you listen on beats. They're not meant for pristine, flat listening experience. And if you give them shit because of that, well then, come on. You know that's not what they're for. But they have reference correction profiles in here for them. And it works pretty good. I have a set that I did it on before and it really does tame that hyped up low end and, and it gets it pretty close to being flat. So. You'd be surprised. You can look on their webpage to see if they have your set of headphones. So you add this at the end of your chain. Again, like I said, I have it after my limiter, then I have reference. This is Restream. It's sending to OBS to capture the screen capture. Shouldn't have to explain that to you, but people will ask. So right now we'll listen to a piece and it'll have the, the correction. So I'm hearing a nice, clean, pristine, flat response from this. So now I will play it again, and about halfway through, I'll switch it off, and you guys should be able to hear a difference. So you can hear when I turned it off, I hope, if this works out properly, how hyped the high end got a little bit. And I know I've mentioned it before, that these are, I, I've noticed that, that I get a little sensitive to high end when I'm working on stuff because of that little bit of boost in the high end, in the upper, in the, in the high end of the spectrum. So it's like, you know, 1K, 2K, 3K, 4K, 4K, 5K, 6K, that's like unfavorable stuff. It's boosted there with these headphones. So I was removing a lot of cymbal wash high end, a lot of chiminess and clarity and the air because I was hearing it wrong. And I got, because I got in a bad habit of not using this. So I've been using this again, and I remembered, oh, that's right. These have a hyped up high end. Again, it's just a tad, you know, it's, it's showing maybe a 6 dB boost here at like, was it 1K, 2K, 3, 4, 
6K. 6 dB is 6K, you know, that'll fool you. So something like this will allow you to make better decisions in your mix on headphones. Now, we can go on and on, and there's going to be debate, and people in the comments, and other people on other channels who say that you shouldn't, hands down, no ifs, ands, or buts, mix in headphones. You know what? You have to do what you can do with the things that you have. Now, I have studio monitors, but again, I don't always like to reference them in this space because I know there's a lack of treatment. I know I get resonant frequencies from, you can see the ductwork up there. It resonates, it starts ringing. I've tried to make impulse responses in here and the impulse captures the ringing of that, no matter what I do. So you have to make the best with what you have and something like this allows you to get a better sounding mix in your headphones. So do yourself a favor, head over to Sonarworks' webpage. Again, they have a 21 day trial right now, so you have nothing to lose to give it a shot. F the haters and make the best of the gear you have. If you have to mix in headphones, do it. This will help you. All appropriate links down below in the description, including links to my music. And if you dig what I'm putting down, hit subscribe and follow along. So something like reference is definitely one of these tools that'll help us make the best of the situation we have. And for a lot of us, mixing in headphones is that situation. So I did reach out to Sonarworks. And while they're not sponsoring this video, they did supply me with two versions of Reference 4 to give away to you guys. So if you join me on my next live stream on Saturday, September 12th, I will be giving away two copies and I hope to see you there. Now I know not all of you are going to be able to make it to that live stream and I apologize, but with the way the channel is growing, we will have more giveaways and I promise you, you'll have an opportunity to win one of them at some point. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Special shout out to those of you supporting me on Patreon and here as YouTube members. If you're looking for other ways to support me and the channel and what I'm doing, I do have music for sale on Bandcamp and of course streaming everywhere music is streamed. Thank you guys so much and we will see you in the next one.